It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 27th of March. I'm James Spann. Gorgeous today, but changes coming up by the end of this week and the weekend. And much colder next week, maybe? Eh, let's get in there and talk about it. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. Look at all those people out there shopping at that big discount retailer during the pre-dawn hours. I guess that's the best time to go shopping if you're awake. Just look at the lights of the city of Gadsden coming from the sky cam up in Etowah County. And nice look at downtown Clanton in Chilton County. There's the water vapor satellite shot. Got a, a very strong shortwave coming across the high plains with some convection up on the Canadian border. A cold trough over the northeast and a warm ridge building here over the deep south. We'll be warm for the rest of this week. But man, look at the cold uh, temperatures up in the Great Lakes in the northeast. They're way below freezing up there. You know, just... A week ago, they were in the 80s and 70s up there. Chicago barely made it out of the 30s yesterday. But again, uh, the warm air wins the battle for us this week. But next week might be a different story. Look at the freeze warnings from Michigan over to the Atlantic coast this morning. Some wind issues for the high plains and down in the Sierra Nevadas, some snow for the mountains of northern California. Convective outlook today got a slight risk from near Kansas City up to St. Louis and almost up to Chicago. Day two, a couple of small slight risks, one for Kansas and one over parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. And on day three, which is Thursday, slight risk over the nation's bread basket. There's the rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. This is suggesting rain amounts of about one-half to three-quarters of an inch. And a pretty good chunk of that will be on Saturday as we start the weekend. Let's get in there and take a look at the juicy details. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is the OZ run. You see the strong energy up on the Canadian border near International Falls, but the uh, ridge is the story for the southern states. And down below that, another sunny and warm day with low to mid-80s. The NAM has 81. The GFS has 84 today. Strong surface low underneath that shortwave up north with a trailing front. Not much convection there. Tomorrow, that surface low moves east, trailing cold front near the Ohio River. Down below that, I don't think it rains much here. You know, you might see a blip on radar tomorrow afternoon, especially near the Tennessee border, but most places will stay warm and dry with low to mid-80s. Pretty much the same deal on Thursday. Uh, looks pretty dry. Any shower should be very hard to find. Friday, this run looks a little drier. Uh, the run we saw last night kind of weakened the ridge. Uh, but this run looks like any showers on Friday should be pretty widely spaced. And we stay warm with low to mid-80s uh, all week. Low to mid-80s are likely. All right, Saturday as we start the weekend. So many things are happening. we got the big uh, indie event out at the Barber Motorsports Park and the air show in Tuscaloosa. So everybody's wanting to know. Well, you can see the uh, energy coming in from the west-northwest. And down below that, that will bring in a... Better coverage of showers and storms on Saturday, and that clearly looks like the best chance of rain over the next seven days. And it's not to say it's going to rain all day. It won't. And the rain probably not especially heavy. I don't think we'll have any severe weather, but yes, it should rain at times on Saturday. So just be aware of that as you make your plans. Highs uh, should drop back into the 70s with the clouds and showers. But the good news, Sunday looks pretty dry. Uh, you know, maybe just a slight chance of a stray shower, but the energy is moving well to the east so Sunday should not be an issue, but ooh, look at the cold air out west. Wow. Big mountain snows out there, and oh boy, look at Monday. We warned you about doing all that planning so early. There's almost always an April cold snap here. Come on now. Now, uh, let's look down below that. Uh, 992 millibar surface low over Iowa, and of course, that brings up the potential for some strong, maybe severe storms. Uh you know, again, this is midday Monday, uh, down through that corridor, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, maybe in the Mississippi Monday night. And then Tuesday, the whole thing kind of evolves into a, a closed upper low. And we've seen a lot of different looks uh, down below that. The surface low is underneath that. It's a stacked system with the showers and storms uh, moving on into Alabama, kind of exiting by midday Tuesday. So the first issue might be a chance of strong, maybe severe storms Monday night into Tuesday. And then we'll go to uh, Wednesday of next week, April 4th, and just a whopper of an upper low just cuts off right over the Mid-South. 
You got the 540 line over, uh, you know, Memphis just because of the cold air aloft. And this will produce dynamic cooling, not really pulling down the, the colder air from the north. But still, that will be much, much colder. But if that happens to be the right solution, I don't think we'll get a frost or a freeze. But hang on now. The European looks much colder and it's got more of an open trough that does tap colder air. And the 540 line is down to Birmingham. And that would suggest a frost or a freeze threat toward the middle or end of next week. And the European has been a little better in the medium range uh, this season. So we've got both models on board. Just, just be aware that uh, we might have a morning, middle or end of next week, with a low between 25 and 35. Growers, beware. Uh, we'll check the uh, 7th. We'll just keep going out there. This is uh, Saturday, April 7th. I do believe this is uh, Easter weekend. And uh, again, uh, if this is right, it still looks uh, like the upper low is just hanging around. It could hang around all week. But again, we don't know details yet. We're just speculating. But certainly, model consistency has been very good in showing a late-season cold snap next week. We'll check the end of the forecast. April 11th, well, the upper low is gone. The ridge is back. And if that's right, it would be warm and dry. Uh, but again, just... We'll keep an eye on things for next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening or on the live stream. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.